Hello everybody, uh, well, this edition of the news um, will be basing on will be on this article of the U.S. auto emissions plan see, seen as good news for Canada. Um, that's the title of the article from the Toronto Star. Um, it's been in the news on the CTVs, probably all the news stations in the U.S. Um, and my, here are my thoughts on it. I mean, I see a lot of things about it are good, but I see a lot of negative about it. and. We're in a crisis right now in the automotive industry. A lot of part jobs being lost in the auto industry. Uh, like GM closing their Oshawa truck plant recent last week. Um, it's really sad, but it's really on the core issue here is fuel economy, fuel efficiency, fuel efficiency, um, and things uh, things like that. Uh, but here's my here's my little thought in the matter. Uh, it's right now it's. Red eye, bushy tailed in the morning. Uh, it's 4:37 a.m. Wednesday morning. This was from last night at 8:29. The star or came out. Journal Star. Um, I'm gonna just cover a few things. I my feelings, my beliefs on this issue is as someone's owned big cars before, big V8s before, driven big V8s countless times, owned a couple. Um, own a few of them. Uh, I can say one thing: it's I've rarely seen my car lower than twenty-nine to thirty-five miles per gallon. And how I did that is quite simply: it was how I drive my car, how I drove my car. I never floored it. I never stopped lights. I took nice, took it easy with my car. Um, for fuel efficiency. Uh, your rev range, your RPM range, uh, when you move, if you go it's too fast, you burn more fuel as you start it, as you start to go. If you hit it, gas hard, floor pretty hard on the go, start pretty hard. Um, that's where the biggest problem is, our driving habits. That's where our fuel economy is going down the drain. Uh, our cars are, are most for sport SUVs, trucks, and bigger car, bigger engine cars, bigger block cars. Their fuels, they, are, they can be fuel efficient. So they are pretty fuel efficient for size. Uh, but I remember this one case, one situation. Well, Michael just picked up a brand new truck, uh, GM Silverado O2 model, I believe. I think O2 model, I think, or something along those lines. Anyways, um, when he first got it, we had like a 36 or 37 miles per gallon with it on his first tank of gas. Uh, we didn't really follow it afterwards, but we had a very good fuel economy out of it. He was wasn't sure of the numbers, uh, but I double checked the numbers three, four times, and the numbers were right on the mileage part, miles per gallon. So I mean, yeah, it's how you drive it. He drove it very cautiously, very softly, gently. That's it's a driving habits. That's basically how you can say yes is your driving habits and maintenance. Make sure your tires are fit. You have proper air pressure in your tires. Your injectors are clean, so things like that. Uh, oil changes, change your transmission fluid. All these little issue, all these little items do help. Um, I mean, if this is really annoying, Obama, Obama, Barack Obama. He wants to get all these gas guzzlers off the road in six and a half years. Well, Mr. Obama, sorry to say, what? Do I, sorry to say. You're wrong on this issue. It's not the problem. That's the vehicle is not the problem. It's the owner who, which is the problem. It's how they drive the car. Have rev limiters on startup. You need to put rev, lim rev limiters. When you hit the gas, boom. It won't give you max power. It, it builds it up. You don't want to have high power, like uh, right off the gas on a lot of your vehicles. I and mean, I know a lot of people will say, oh, it's not safe to have like that. Well, we do it every single car, new car, and have as a warranty recall on all the other cars, cost the manufacturers to put these systems in, wouldn't be that much of a deal, big deal. Um, it's just basically a computer. It's a computer, reprogramming a chip, new chip in the computer. That's all I have to do is take the box out, Take the old chip out, put the new one in, and it's done five minutes, ten minutes. 
act of actual maintenance or repair work. Just open the dash, take the two screws out, boom, you slide in, new chip, boom, good car, remount the computer. There you go, done. Uh, that's one way to do it. A lot of our, our, our emission standards are great. I mean, as they are. Uh, you don't really need much more to it, to really, because the cars really now are very efficient. Even the big trucks. Uh, here's the the comment from Obama that really got me going here. The new rules Obama added will result in one, 177 million gas guzzlers be removed from U.S. roads over the next six and a half years. Um, yes. Okay. Eh, no. That's not good. Never. It's a good idea to remove these gas cars off the road, but gotta look at one thing. Maintenance is is what what's causing the cost of gas. Is it maintenance, driving habits? Which I think is just driving habits and maintenance. It's not the vehicle. Um, if they're mod highly modified, I mean, get a one of these street racers with their little rice rockets, Japanese import cars, souped up, which is a travesty for these cars that are useless. You don't want to sweep up. Why would you want to sweep a Honda? Uh, in my opinion, you don't want, need to. It's it's counterproductive. I can see a Mustang or old, old, older cars being souped up. Yeah, that's different. They they predate that sitting. But what he's but how I'm feeling he wants to pull all these old cars, cars I love, muscle cars, off the streets. Not right. Not smart, Obama. Okay, you're trying to do your best, I understand, but wrong call. I think you've made a few wrong calls so far. Uh, this is another, just another as to the list. Um, yeah, I mean, it's ident identical vehicles for sale in the country, yet only about 3% of Americans buy this size vehicle, SUVs. Well, SUVs. I mean, a family of four, soccer mom, yeah, they have two kids, three kids, four kids, five kids, six kids, who knows, who cares how many kids they have, but they want to, they carpool, they bring a few kids, other, the par other parents are working on the team, they can carpool the kids to the game, hockey, baseball, whatever sport they play, I mean, yeah, they just need it, towing a towing trailer, towing a boat, so those people do need it. You don't want to tow a 35-foot, 40-foot boat with a little Honda Civic. You'll burn the transmission out in no time if you do that. You need something a little heavier, like a SUV or a full-size truck. Um, I know a lot of people disagree with that. You go, oh, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, well, you're going to cause massive harm to your car, your little Civic. Um, I'm using the Civic as an example, but anything you drive. Is it people who know me know I'm, a, I'm not a fan of Nissan. I'd fan of Toyota, um, and Mitsubishi, a lot of the Japanese companies, only two Japanese companies I actually can stand really is really Honda and Subaru. Uh, I can't stand none of the Chinese companies, the Korean company, company uh, Kia, um, Tata and the Motors, <laughs> get rid of them, I say this, destroy the company, they're useless, they make crappy products. Um, I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, you're not only talking about, oh, I know more than you think. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't realize, it's driving habits. I see, I used to drive big vehicles, and I can tell you this, as I said, I drove my cars smartly, I didn't, rev I didn't rapidly accelerate, I accelerated gently and slowly. And a lot of people behind me were pissed off at me, and I said, fuck you, I don't really give a shit about you, it's my vehicle, my budget. So I really drove the car to my budget and to the conditions involved. And a lot of people don't do that today. I was taught by the, probably the best person I know in the world, to, who's one of the best drivers I know, is my father. He taught me how to drive. My mother. They were probably the top two drivers. My, actually, my grandfather, my mom's side, was a very good driver. He taught me a few tricks that I learned, learned from him about winter driving. Uh, so, I mean, yeah. And general, driving in general, which is don't be hard on the gas. Be, cur You want to caress the gas. Don't be too hard on it. You'll save fuel. you save your car. 
So, I mean, these are just my comments on it. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, comments, or concerns, you know how to get in touch with me. Uh, just put a sidebar comment below or message me privately. And I'll answer your questions or answer your beefs, whatever you, wherever they are. Uh, take your criticism. But thank you. Have a good night, guys. Bye.